the sun sets, the neon flickers on and Tokyo explodes. We're diving into the belly of the beast, the beating heart of Tokyo after dark. Join us as we explore the top 10 must-visit nightlife spots in Tokyo where the city truly comes alive. We're talking smoky alleys with more character than a Raymond Chandler novel, where the sake flows like water and the food, well, the food will make you want to slap your mama. We're talking about places where salarymen drown their sorrows in whiskey, where hipsters rub shoulders with geishas, and where the music, the lights, the sheer kinetic energy of the city will leave you breathless. So buckle up, Buttercup, because we're about to take you on a wild ride. First up, we're hitting Ageha, the biggest damn nightclub you ever did see. Imagine a warehouse, but instead of boxes, it's packed with enough sweaty bodies to make a sumo wrestler blush. The music is thumping, a relentless beat that vibrates in your chest cavity. The air thick with the smell of cigarettes, hairspray, and something that smells suspiciously like desperation. But hey, who are we to judge? This is a place to lose yourself to dance until your feet bleed and the sun comes up. The DJs here are legends, spinning everything from techno to trance to good old-fashioned house music. The crowd is a mix of locals and tourists, all united by their love of music and their desire to escape the everyday. We grab a drink at the bar overpriced and watered down, but who cares? We're not here for the cocktails, we're here for the experience, for the feeling of being young and alive and lost in the moment. Okay, so maybe pounding techno music isn't your scene. Fair enough. Let's class things up a bit, shall we? Tucked away in the back streets of Ginza, you'll find Bar High Five, a dimly lit sanctuary where the bartenders are more like artists and the drinks are liquid poetry. This ain't the kind of place you stumble into after a few too many saparos. No, this is a destination, a pilgrimage for those who appreciate the subtle art of a perfectly crafted cocktail. The man behind the bar, a silver-haired fox with the hands of a surgeon and the soul of a poet, is Hidetsugu Ueno, a legend in the world of mixology. He doesn't just make drinks, he crafts experiences. We belly up to the bar, the polished wood gleaming under the soft light, and order a couple of whatever he recommends. Ueno-san nods, a knowing smile playing on his lips and gets to work. He measures, he stirs, he shakes, his movements precise and elegant. The first sip is a revelation, a symphony of flavors exploding on the tongue, each ingredient perfectly balanced. All right, time for a change of pace. We're stepping out of the bars and clubs and into the cool night air. Towering above the city, a beacon of steel and light is Tokyo Tower, the elder statesman of Tokyo's skyline. The view from up here is breathtaking, a panoramic tapestry of neon and steel stretching out as far as the eye can see. Down below, the city throbs and pulses, a living organism under a blanket of stars. Millions of lives, millions of stories unfolding beneath us. It's enough to make you feel small, insignificant, and yet strangely connected to something bigger than yourself. Hold on to your hats, kids, because things are about to get weird. We're heading to Team Lab Borderless, a digital art museum that's like stepping into another dimension. Imagine a world where the walls melt away, where flowers bloom beneath your feet, where waterfalls cascade down from the ceiling. This is a place where technology and art collide in a riot of color and light. We wander through room after room, each one more mind-bending than the last. We wade through a digital forest, the air thick with the scent of flowers and the sound of chirping birds. We stand beneath a digital waterfall, the water cascading around us but never touching us. Team Lab Borderless is a reminder that even in a city as modern and technologically advanced as Tokyo, there's still room for magic and wonder. Let's be honest, Tokyo can be a lot. The crowds, the noise, the constant assault on the senses. Sometimes you just need a break from it all. And that's where Ginza 6 rooftop garden comes in. Perched atop one of Ginza's most luxurious shopping malls, this rooftop oasis offers a welcome respite from the urban jungle below. We step off the elevator and into another world. Gone are the crowds and the noise, replaced by the gentle rustling of leaves and the sound of birdsong. The garden is a meticulously designed blend of nature and architecture with winding paths, tranquil ponds, and even a small shrine. Ginza's six rooftop garden is a reminder that even in the concrete jungle, nature always finds a way. 
Ready to dive into the heart and soul of old Tokyo? Then grab a beer, hold your breath, and let's get lost in Omoide Yokocho, also known as Memory Lane. This narrow alleyway, crammed with tiny bars and eateries, is a relic of a bygone era, a time when Tokyo was still rebuilding after the war. The air is thick with the smell of grilled meat, cigarette smoke, and cheap beer. It's crowded, it's chaotic, and it's absolutely magical. We squeeze our way past salarymen in rumpled suits, their ties loosened and their faces flushed from sake and conversation. We duck into a tiny yakitori joint, the air thick with smoke and the sound of sizzling meat. This is what Omoide Yokocho is all about. Good food, good drinks and good conversation with strangers. Buckle up, Buttercup, because things are about to get weird. Again, we're heading to the robot restaurant in Shinjuku, a place that can only be described as a fever dream on steroids. Imagine a cross between a Las Vegas show, a Japanese game show, and a David Lynch film, and you're starting to get the picture. The show is a sensory overload of flashing lights, pounding music, and bizarre performances. Giant robots battle it out on stage, while dancers in skimpy outfits gyrate to the beat. There's fire, there's lasers, there's even a giant panda riding a unicycle. It's loud, it's chaotic, and it's utterly captivating. We sip on our drinks, a mix of bemusement and awe on our faces, and try to make sense of it all, but honestly, that's the beauty of the robot restaurant. Sometimes you just need a little bit of crazy in your life, and the robot restaurant delivers that in spades. Let's be honest, you haven't truly seen Tokyo until you've seen it from above. And there's no better place to do that than the Roppongi Hills Mori Tower Observation Deck. Located on the 52nd floor of the Mori Tower, this observation deck offers panoramic views of the city that will take your breath away. We step out of the elevator and into a world of glass and light. The city stretches out before us, a glittering tapestry of neon and steel. We can see everything from here. The Tokyo Sky Tree, Tokyo Tower, the Rainbow Bridge, even Mount Fuji in the distance on a clear day. We marvel at the way the city lights twinkle on as darkness falls, like a million stars scattered across the earth. The Roppongi Hills Mori Tower Observation Deck is a reminder that even in a city as vast and chaotic as Tokyo, there's a certain beauty to be found in the chaos. Deep in the heart of Shinjuku, hidden amongst the gleaming skyscrapers and neon lights, lies a labyrinth of narrow alleyways known as Golden Guy. This is where Tokyo comes to lose itself, to escape the relentless pace of modern life and embrace the shadows. We step into Golden Guy and feel like we've been transported back in time. The buildings are old, some dating back to the 1950s, and the streets are narrow enough to touch both sides with outstretched arms. The air is thick with the smell of cigarette smoke, yakitori, and cheap beer. This is a place where the rules of the outside world don't seem to apply, where you can be whoever you want to be. We duck into a tiny bar, drawn in by the sound of laughter and the promise of cheap drinks. This is a place where you can drink with strangers and leave as friends, where the night never seems to end. No trip to Tokyo is complete without experiencing the madness that is Shibuya Crossing, the world's busiest intersection. Every few minutes the lights change and a sea of humanity surges into the intersection, a chaotic ballet of organized chaos. We stand on the corner, mesmerized by the spectacle unfolding before us. People from all walks of life, young and old, locals and tourists, all caught up in the same relentless flow. We push our way into the throng, swept along by the current of humanity. It's a strange mix of exhilarating and terrifying, like being caught in a human wave. Shibuya Crossing is a microcosm of Tokyo itself. Crowded, chaotic, and yet strangely beautiful in its own way. From the pulsing dance floors of Ageha to the serene rooftop garden at Ginza 6, we've explored the best that Tokyo's nightlife has to offer. Tokyo After Dark is a different beast, a city that never sleeps, a place where you can find anything your heart desires. So the next time you find yourself in this sprawling metropolis, don't be afraid to venture out after the sun goes down. Until next time, keep exploring.